Continuing coverage of breaking news this morning, there is no school today for the dozens of students who attend St. Anthony Parish School in Ocano Falls. Dayline is offering a new look at the damage caused in last night's fire. State fire investigators are expected on the scene today to look into the cause. School officials say Ash Wednesday services will go on at 8.30 this morning. Angela Kelly is live on the scene with the latest. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Rachel. We're joining you again live from inside of the church, which is connected to St. Anthony's Catholic School. And, um, you know, fortunately, uh, the, the church was salvaged from any extreme damage uh, thanks to a heavy metal door that um, closes between the hallway and the church of the school. Well, however, if you rub your hand along some of these pews, you see, do you see Ooh, that black yeah. soot? You see that? Now, I, I just spoke with um, Father Joel here, and, and they still believe that the Mass is going to go on here at 8.30 for Ash Wednesday, but, I mean, that's a concern. This needs to be cleaned up. There's soot in here. Um, it still smells a little bit like smoke, um, but as of now, the plan is to go on, but we'll keep you updated on that. I want to go to um, Rosemary Marifke. She is the principal for St. Anthony. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's talk about where we stand now with classes for the students. Uh, today the classes are canceled and I've called all the parents and said that we will call them later today and let them know the status. We have a couple of offers of a building or space to use until we can repair. So after Mass today I will go and visit those places and see which one would accommodate all of our student body. Mm -hmm. uh, what? What kind of impact does this have on the community? I know that you have been a part of this, uh, this school, this parish, for years. So many people have. What was going through your mind when you pulled up last night and saw this in flames? Well, I started to cry. Um, we consider this home. It's our second home. It's family. I've been here 27 years. I'm on my second generation of students. Um, our families go camping together. They, they go to Wisconsin Dells together. It's a very close-knit community, uh, not only here at the school, but the whole O'Connell Falls area. Mm -hmm. um, I know that uh, they always say that uh, St. Anthony's is another choice for education in, in O'Connell Falls. Um, so I think it's going to be it's going to be missed for a while, but we'll be here. Yeah, and I think you guys definitely have the community to bounce back. Any word on a fund that's been established yet to help you guys get going again? You got to buy new textbooks and everything. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, we have not set up a formal fund. However, one of our second graders has already started the fund for us, and this is her dad. This yeah, is this this will touch your heart. Uh, this is Mike Appleby. Um, your daughter, tell us about your daughter, uh, how old she is. My daughter Paige, seven years old. She's in second grade here, and when she found out about the fire, we were actually coaching basketball practice last night, and the whole team was devastated. Um, we stopped here on our way home, looked at it, and then when we got home, the first thing that she started crying about was her rosary that was in her locker and she went into her room and got out her piggy bank and took and and took all the cash out it was sixteen dollars she put it in an envelope and said for saint anthony's school to rebuild it was very sweet of her that is absolutely incredible so i think we've got a fun going guys i think we've got a fun going um how do you explain and i imagine so many parents are waking up this morning thinking gosh how do i explain to my my, my small child about what's happening here how do you explain that it's tough you know they're they're kids you don't want to tell them too much but you don't want to keep anything from them um, I think it's important that we're gonna bring our daughter for what Ash Wednesday mass this morning so that she can see that life does go on you mm -hmm. know in the face of these tragedies um, we're gonna just keep moving on Thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Um, I am hoping to speak with uh, Father Joel um, here coming up in our um, next half hour um, at about 8 o'clock. So stick around for that. Uh, reporting live in Oconee Falls. Back to you. Paige, what a little sweetheart. $16 is a great yeah. start. Thanks, Ange.